If you or your baby has tiny hard white bumps on the face, such as on the nose, chin, or cheeks, resist the urge to try removing them. The tiny hard white bumps on the face is likely milia. Milia is a skin condition that's common among newborns. Did you know that around 50% of newborn babies have milia on their skin within a month of being born? However, milia can also affect children, adolescents, and adults. Milia occurs when dead skin cells are trapped beneath the skin's surface, forming small, hard cysts. This skin condition is common in young babies because their skin is still learning to slough off dead skin cells. Although you can commonly see milia on the nose, chin, or cheeks, they can also occur in other areas, such as the limbs and upper trunk. Enjoying the video? Then give it a like and share it with your friends to help the channel. There are two types of milia in adults, primary and secondary. Primary milia are the same as the kind the babies have, while secondary milia develop when a skin condition that causes blistering damages the pore lining. For example, burns or severe rashes can increase the number of skin cells trapped under the skin's surface. What about its treatment? The best treatment for milia is to do nothing, as they often go away in a few weeks. If you're an adult with milia, you can try over-the-counter exfoliating treatments that contain alpha-hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, or retinoid, such as adapalene. These chemical compounds can improve the skin's natural turnover by removing dead skin cells, thus helping the bumps go away faster. Sun damage can also be one of the contributing factors to milia, as it makes the skin somewhat leathery. Such skin damage can make it more challenging for dead skin cells to rise to the skin's surface and shed normally. If you maintain a good skincare routine, it can help minimize the chance of milia appearing on your skin. Since secondary milia can develop due to sun damage, wearing makeup or a moisturizer with at least SPF 15 every day can help protect your skin. During warmer months, you can use products with SPF 30. Here are some helpful tips if your baby is the one with milia. Wash and clean your baby's face with lukewarm water every day. If your baby has oily skin, especially around the nose, you can use a mild moisturizing soap formulated for babies. When drying your baby's face, gently pat the skin and don't rub. Don't use lotions with salicylic acid or other exfoliating agents meant for adults. Your baby's delicate skin can't handle it. It's also important not to remove the bumps by squeezing or scraping them. Milia are hard cysts beneath the skin's surface. If you try to remove them forcefully, you'll only irritate and damage the skin around the cyst. As a result, you could wind up scarring your skin permanently. You wouldn't want that to happen, right? Consider making an appointment with a skin doctor or dermatologist if the hard white bumps on your face don't respond to exfoliating treatments after several weeks. Your doctor may use a hypodermic needle to remove the cyst or freeze it before removal. Your doctor can also ensure that the milia isn't something more serious. If you have had milia before, share with us your experience. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Also, get my free ebook linked in the description box below to learn 10 essential steps to strengthen your immune system so you'll feel your best.